<laughs> All right, and three, two, one. Welcome everybody back to the Build Different podcast. We're back with another different conversation. Kem is back. Peace. We're back. Um, we're not doing high off life anymore, but this is a different conversation where we're, we will still be high off life and doing the same shit that we were doing. Yo, what's up, Kem? How you Yo, been, you know. bud? <laughs> gumbo way of life still. Gumbo, know, gumbo. Everything's good. Um, I really can't complain. The summer's been treating me well. It's been a quick summer, though, man. Oh, like, yeah, I definitely quick. Minute. Yeah, we've been you know grinding. I mean? we all been we all been grinding, That's doing our thing. That's a thing, though. You know what Hell I mean? Hell, yeah. yeah. Hell, always yeah. Always grinding, always moving. You know what I mean? Uh, I believe bit. treadmills, people think they're going somewhere. They're just running in place. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want motion. I want progression. You yeah, that's... Like, let's go. <laughs> I fuck with that. I fuck mm-hmm. with that. And now that that kind of leads us right into our first topic, man. Life is too short, bro. Yes, it is. Life is way too short. I think that's um one big thing since you know going through, you know all this shit recently and grinding and everything is life is too short, dude. Yes, it is, man. Like yes, way too is. short. Like even though I'm doing all this shit, I'm still trying to find a way to play. You know my video games. Okay. Try to watch a movie here and there. Uh-huh. Plan the most comfortable lazy nights um as i possibly can because bro life is too short to just be sitting here and stressing and Mm -hmm. and fucking you know okay like just like life is stressful though it is life is pretty damn stressful it is um but one thing i want to do bro Uh is i want to get rid of sleep you got to tell me a little bit more about this like like sleep's been pissing me off man so sleep's been pissing you off (laughs) (laughs) So, like, I don't know, man, because I'm trying to do so much every day, right? Okay. And But then you got to also remember that you got to sleep. Yes. And you can't just sleep a little bit because if you sleep a little bit, your body's just going to want you to sleep more and more and more and more and more. Yes. And if you haven't slept in a while, you're going to be sleeping for a while. Yeah. I got to love that, though. I got to love that. As I, I know. Saying, uh, sleep is good, though. Like, mm-hmm. sleep is a good thing, but I think it's just such a waste of time. Yeah. You were saying something uh, earlier, like, if you could find, like, uh, just the shit that you need. Bro, so, like... like yeah. When you sleep, like you know how like you know your your uh, your body's moving a little bit faster to fix okay. everything in your yeah. body. Mm-hmm. Like you go to sleep with a headache, you you wake up, you don't have a headache, right. or mm-hmm. you recharged. go to sleep with like some kind of cut. Mm-hmm. You wake up, the cuts like you know kind of close. Mm-hmm. You know you chew your fingernails. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I chew my fingernails, but you chew your fingernails. You wake up, your finger your fingernails are a little bit you know longer, like shit yeah. like that. Like I wish it was something where. We could find out what exact. I mean, and there's probably studies on this. Scientists are wild. Right. But I wish we could find out what exactly it does to your body. Like, what chemicals it moves, what very specific things right. happen that mm-hmm. cause all that. Uh-huh. So that we can make, like, a serum. Okay. That if you either drink it or maybe you go into some type of chamber for, yeah, like, yeah. five minutes. That was the shit I was loving right there. Yeah. <laughs> love so that. you go into a chamber for five minutes, get attached to that shit, and you get everything that you need. That's one thing I really want to be see invented because okay. you know how much, like, and I'm surprised humans don't work together to make this because you know how much more productive we would be if we had all 24 hours in a day yeah, that's crazy. to do what we need to do. That's crazy. So that I love that part. That's what I got. That's why I gotta love you. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> with our gap in age, the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you got the same 24 hours and you wanting to eliminate sleep, most motherfuckers want to sleep their life away. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, not like that, but you know what Sad. I mean? Don't, well, don't I mean, go to work, don't want their own hustle, you know what I mean? <laughs> all that kind of thing. Yeah. But, like, you know, you want more hours, basically, in a day to get more done. That's yeah. fire. I don't know, though. I, I like my sleep. I, I no, right, but you, you know, we like our sleep because mm-hmm. our body needs that. Yes. Yes, when we sleep, we wake up and we're, like, really, really refreshed. Yes. Um, you know, that process of going to sleep, like, like I can't tell you how precious it is to, like, designate a specific meal. Yes. Have your little blunt. Yes. And then just fucking... Yeah. You're, you're closed. Coast out. Yeah, you're right. Just, you're you're closed. Coast. And then yeah, you yeah. just, you know, you in bed. Yeah. And, like, that, that, that's beautiful. That's mm-hmm. a beautiful thing in life. Mm-hmm. But, man... I really want to find a way to only sleep, like, five minutes every day. That's or, fine. like... That's fire. Because just imagine, bro. Yeah. I would be up all hours of the day just yeah. cooking. Yeah. Just cooking. Yeah, because I'm cooking with what I have now. And then in six hours, you can relax. <laughs> like, you can just do whatever you need to do in those six hours that you really want to do. But sleep? No, I'm good. Yeah, that's crazy. Like I said, if I didn't get delirious, if I didn't get, like... <laughs> like, because yeah. you know what I, I mean? Like, you get super psycho, like, yeah. whatever, when you don't sleep. Yeah. Super manic. Because, man, like... So much more time would be added to your day. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what you could do with all that extra time? Because you're not, you know, tired out from work. You could just go to work. Yeah. Shit, you could even work longer. Yeah. Fuck it. That's the I only mean, thing. That's I not, I want to do that. Yeah, but. <laughs> I already, well, we already working. We putting hours in. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, what would you do with that extra hours? You know what I mean? I mean, the extra hours, like I said, I would I would put that, like... That's the biggest you, you You bring it to family, so okay. that now, like... Because, I don't know, do you ever, like, hang out with your peoples? Okay. And you... there It's two sides of the coin. One, you really love hanging out with them. Mm-hmm. But two, like, maybe you could have been productive yeah. instead of doing that. Or maybe yeah. you hang out with them too long. You know what I mean? Like or I'm um, getting to it so much that you can't hang out with your Right, people. exactly. Like there's yes. and there's never gonna be a balance because yes. like when you're trying to get to it like mm-hmm. you know, like what we're doing, like, you know, we're doing these podcasts mm-hmm. and shit, like mm-hmm. that time could be filled. Yes. You know, hanging out with your family yeah. or like, yeah. you know, just doing all that shit. Yeah. So like uh, you give me all that time, I'm just all yeah. that all the boxes are gonna be crossed off every single day. I feel day. that. I feel and that. more. I, feel, I, I actually like that plan. Twenty four actually, hours is a lot of time. Yeah, it's a it's a whole lot more that I will be able to get done because there's so much shit that I'll be trying to squeeze in now. You know what I mean? And then it's like, shit, man. With people being in so many different places, you could be in different places yeah. at times that you were never there before. I might just, I, mean? uh, like, I might start you researching this. Shit. Sleep, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, so that that's not a bad idea. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna lie, I ran from sleep from a long time. But yeah. I also know that it's some shit that you need, so you have to really. And that's to, the that's the you part know what that I mean? sucks. Like yeah. I ran from that shit for a while. Well, like you said, even she like not at like I got manic and all types of weird shit. Oh like, yeah, being up and shit, I would see shit and all types of bro, shit. She bro, she knows she knows my attitude. If I stay up a little <laughs> bit, bit too long, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so short leashed, and I'm yeah, just like, oh, yeah, what the hell? Crazy, bro. Like, oh, no, I gotta go. Uh, yeah, no, I remember we were arguing one time. I was like, "Nah, I think I just need to go to sleep." <laughs> I was like, "My bad." Bro, dude, that's how that shit be, bro. I get crazy, man. It's that's like, what I'm saying. Like, life is too short when you consider like the amount of time yeah. that you have to spend sleeping. Yeah, but it's 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 so short. Also, that you got to get every fucking thing done that needs to get done. Yeah, you know bro, I mean? and like especially on days that you work, you ain't you ain't getting shit else yeah, done, man. bro. And yeah. all the fun that you need to have, and everywhere that you need to go, like you need to go, like you know what I'm saying, like yeah, shit out there with my bullshit while I'm on the beach or fuck that, like I mean at least, bro. like you know what I mean, like yeah. mental shit, dude, like so that you could Absolutely. like take care of yourself a little better, like you know what I mean, like you said something about the waterfalls and shit like that, you know what I mean, like that shit is needed, like, that shit you know is what fire. I'm you should like, come sometime. You that gotta shit go. Is- Get that shit away. is fire. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, that's what, that's what we did. A few hours, go to the waterfalls. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just nice being out in nature. Yeah, that's Because I'm, I'm not into nature, like, okay. all the time. Like, okay. You won't Fine. catch me, like, doing that shit every Fine. day. Yeah, Fine. Because um, it's just, I don't know, I'm a... I'm a real Caucasian dude, yeah, bro. Okay, okay. Like, I'm going to get smoked by the sun. Uh-huh. I hate that. I hate having yeah. sunburn. I don't know yeah. how people can, you know, just do that. Yeah. Just have sunburn. <laughs> like, that is just crazy. So, I don't so be you out. Use no SPF 50? No I mean, thing. I do, but, like, that mm-hmm. shit doesn't work a lot of the time. Okay, gotcha. You know what I mean? Like, okay. you have to get, like, the top of the top products for it to okay. actually, like, yeah. not burn your skin. And that shit probably change your complexion and everything. Bro, I'm sorry, it's peeling. You're just, yeah. ah, ah, ah. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's good. just, fuck that, yeah. dude. Fuck that. <laughs> the bugs and shit. Like, you could just, like, you could just walk and just get bit by a tick and it's over. Like, you got yes. Lyme disease. Yes. Now your whole life is different. A yes. little ass bug. That's hard. Fuck out of here, right? Like, that's yeah. mad invasive. Like, that's, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> but... <laughs> Nah, but life is too short, bro. That's yeah. why I say, like, I'm never... I don't think I'm ever going to go on a diet again. Okay. Unless, like, I'm in the hospital and they're like, you're going to die unless gotcha. you, like, stop this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going to be a vegetarian. Okay. I'm not... Like, life is too short. Food is such a blessing. Mm-hmm. Like, food... Listen. Food is the way to my heart. Mm-hmm. I deadass fucking love food. Okay. Like, I thank God every day for right. the creation of food. Yes. Because, bro, Something good... Something else we agree and there like, isn't anybody that don't know. Right, food. right, right. Oh, like and that's why like life is too short like we're only on this earth for a certain amount of time i hate i'm not saying i hate people that do it but like i hate hated every time that i did it that i'm just like no i like good food though like I'm oh yeah a, i'm a good yeah. food person like, yeah. and i like all types of good food you know what i'm saying like, but, you know what I'm <laughs> that's, saying? What, I'm, that's like, what i'm saying i like everything like you know like what I'm a good saying? ass like, like baked man bro. Bro. like, like yes. i'm saying like handcrafted perfect tenders bro. oh man yeah like, I don't mean you that. I, you can't go wrong, though. 
I don't mean to make you hungry, but I'm just like, bro, like yeah. food, like yeah. I can't. I was, I'd be explaining this to people now. Like life is too short, man. Yeah. Cause like, I'm not saying y'all are wasting your time, but like I don't think I could waste my time. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, eating know, shitty food I don't really like. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you mean? So tell me, just get a little bit deeper for me with that. Like, what do you mean? What? Like, what do you mean? Like the control their weight for like, like, like the way they mean? control like, like yeah, the way they, I'm, I'm like the way they of... control their eating. Like they don't okay. eat as much as they want to. Okay. Which just automatically makes you miserable anyway because yes. you're like fuck. Yeah, I you're want angry. Yeah. like like I want that. Yeah. Um. That that's just basically okay, in general not not right. experiencing life's like really yeah. good rich like flavors. Food. Like that's what I'm. Yes, bro. People that don't like to try new things. Gotcha. I hate like, like, yeah, like gotcha. me, I I hate vegetables, but like you'll I'll eat anything else, bro. Like, gotcha. Okay. Like yeah, 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 I hate vegetables. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I mean, there's a couple vegetables I'll I'll eat to okay. keep me, you know, that's whatever. Crazy. I'm not, I'll eat, I yeah. love vegetables. Really? Fruits. Oh the hell yeah! Give me all that shit because yo, what's cool is like you know you can change any of that shit. Like the best way to eat vegetables, if you ask me, and honestly, is grill them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, okay. Any vegetable yeah, is yeah, really yeah. good. If you nah, grow. some vegetables in a stew, like a really well made stew. That's good too. That's yeah, good too because yeah. it keeps their, it keeps a lot of their, Soft, you know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah, keeps yeah. everything yeah. that you want out of the vegetable. You know what I'm saying? So Hell if yeah. you can eat them raw, eat them raw. You know what I'm saying? Like pause, I said, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, pause. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pause, pause. But um, yeah, if you can eat them fresh, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, a really good yeah. fucking, like, ziti, though. Yeah. Like, a good burger. Mm-hmm. Like, shit, a good pause, but a good glizzy. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. you know, like, just a good one, though. Like, yeah. not, like, just, you know, boiling on the stove yeah, or, like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, on the grill yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. with some toppings, yeah. some fucking, you know, you know exactly yes, what I'm Like, just absolutely. fucking good-ass food that, like, I would yeah. be so pissed. Yeah, I've been on a weird yeah. taco kick. Too. Tacos too, bro. Yeah. Taco salad, yeah. quesadillas, yeah. tacos, like that yeah. whole category. Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, you'll never catch me going on a diet. Like, life's too short, bro. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm like, we're on this earth life to too short like to we're eat. actually on Do this earth to you. eat because we have to eat to survive. Like, yeah. we're on this earth to eat, drink water, and love, and you know yeah. all everything yeah. else. But like, mm-hmm. if we're here to, on earth to eat. Eat, man. Like, <laughs> like okay. eat what you want to eat because okay. at some point you're not going to be able to experience that. Because when we get when we get old, old, we lose our taste buds or like you know death. Again, like, who wants to go through it? Like, not experiencing something like for well, real. Like, I have a question. What do you sure. have, like? What do you have to say though for those people that are like six hundred pounds, like off those shows because they just love food. They can't give stop it up. eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I say, I mean, I say. That's gonna be a funny ass show. That's gonna be a good five seconds. Yeah, stop, right. stop eating. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, I know, like, what you mean by that, but like, there's those people that are so obese, it's right. like so bad for their health because they really feel that well, way about food. And like, at one point, well, well, well here, here's the difference, right? Because they took eating and brought it to a whole nother like they made it a hobby. Like they right. they they took it to a whole nother level. Right. Don't make eating your hobby. Like that's crazy. Like they would eat, they would look forward to eating, they would plan when to eat. You know you know what I mean? Like those those people, yeah, like probably what Kevin said, like, yeah, stop eating. Mm-hmm. But at that point, like you should see the plates that they like, wow, they're eating like like drugs of orange juice. Like not right. just like I know. a cup, like they are oh, God. like they yeah. are wild, man. I know. I know. Um so it's crazy. It's something that like. But I don't think they they enjoyed food. I'm I I just don't think. I'm sorry. I don't think they enjoy some food. Some of them really eat though because it's for pleasure. Mm-hmm. Like I, some of them be like, "All right, I want a cupcake because a cupcake." That's what I'm saying. Yogurt. Like I want chocolate. Chocolate. Mm-hmm. Boom. But we all like as human beings, it's like logic to know that you also have to be active. Like you have to in some way, shape, or form, you got to be like okay. stretching. And, and it's a part of the human genetic well, to become yeah. addictive too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like food is like anything else that we change yeah. our chemistry with you know what i'm yeah. saying like not on a weird going a deeper shit like that's just what it is like yeah. you start ingesting food and like because that's that's another part of like eating too like you know what i mean like and some of what you say i totally agree with but you have to actually eat right though like eat all that you want oh, but yeah. you need to make sure that you're eating good shit don't be you know what i mean like uh because you but, will end up being in the way that what you're saying what about somebody that's like 600 pounds be, there's a way you know what I mean? Like, anybody that know me know I'm greedy as hell, but I eat 
good shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, not like that. I, you know what I mean? And I think that, you know, like... And, 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 like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying no, yeah, yeah. to... You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go eat nothing that I know that, like, was prepared to make me, like... You know what I mean? Like, fuck me up a little bit. Oh, yeah, like, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, so we have to think about all of that shit, oh, man. Yeah, for sure. Like, because in all truth, it costs the same amount of money to eat, like... Some shit that will take you to six hundred pounds a lot faster. You know what I mean? Than oh, I mean, I'm not. That, you know what I mean? No, that like, won't, no that but that's gremlin. I said, if you're just buying dead fast dead food all day, yeah, like, like if you're just buying fast food all day, okay, yeah, yeah, you, no. yeah you know but what like, I mean? but that's what I'm saying. Like us, like we know what's like shitty, like top yeah, tier shitty. Yeah, like we know like, the tiers of shittiness. Yeah, like motherfuckers. So, but that's what I'm saying. But like, life is still too short, bro. Yeah, like I still got to experience yourself on the on the shitty shit on the from time to time. You got to from time to time. Yeah, yeah, you got to. Enjoy fast food for yeah, time. It's yeah. shitty. We know it's shitty. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. But like, I'll still have my McDonald's every now oh, and yeah, then. But you better not be living off of that. Hell no, hell okay. no. But what I'm saying is, is I no longer feel guilty for eating it because okay. life is too short. Hell yeah. Okay. Right, life is you. too short, bro. Right, thank you. Yeah. But you yeah. won't catch me in Burger King. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> So music, bro. Oh, I'm loving music. Music, talk to me, I'm man. I'm loving music. So, um, the first thing I want to say is uh, Travis Scott shit. Yeah, gotta love that just because of what heard time it, it. It's huge all over the world yeah, too. What time? Like, like yeah, yeah, Travis Scott's gotten pretty fucking big. That's in, fire. But I haven't listened to the album all the way through yet. I think you have maybe probably yes. a couple times. Yeah, yeah, you're a big, big music head. Yeah, you already um, know. And, and then also doing it this way too. I gotta say, man, that shit. So, um, that's Yeezy Baby, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's Ye's son, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big, that's basically what that album says, like, you know what I mean? It's fire, though, you know what I mean? But it's like, uh, the way that that, so if I'm being critical as a hip-hop dude, and you know what I mean, a rap, yeah. like, if I'm being critical, though, it's fucking beautiful, but he's not, like, rapping, rapping, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how so, that kind of shit is, it's kind, like, it's like how, how the kind of production Post is. Post Malone's oh, album, man, I listened to a little bit more. Good, but He's not yeah. Post I'm Malone, I did. I listened to a little bit more of. I think like these two artists, that Post Malone, yeah, Post Malone and Travis Scott, like they're not making the music that like appeals to all the dumbasses anymore. Yeah, like they're they're actually making music. Yeah, but it's some. And shit that's what on. I love. Yeah, that's that shit fire. Though, but it's fire, fire. Like for me, shit. I can't. I can't just listen to their albums like in uh-huh. the car at first. Like yeah. I'm gonna have to actually dedicate time to just sit down and yes, and like actually that. listen to that shit. Yeah, especially that. Yeah. Do that because that shit from the beginning to the end is fire. Though don't get it. Yeah. That was me being critical on the rhymes. Right, 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 but right. he got and then he did some ill shit that I wouldn't have never expected. But I had to really respect was. I told you, like, in an earlier episode, we recorded that I love Griselda. He got Griselda on that album. Like, you right. know what I mean? He got West Side Gun on that album. Yeah. Like, yeah. that shit fire. That, fire shit, fire. that shit made me, you know what I mean, too. So it's like, it's kind of dope to know that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, even where people are, you know what I mean, in certain levels That's of music. Fair. You know what I'm saying? Fair, and, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? They still, you know what I mean, collaborate. So what's, and, you know what I mean? what's in your rotation right now? Well, that heavy. Uh, yeah. Some other shit, man. Listen, man, you know, man, I'm always <laughs> my ears. I listen to Ice Wear Vezo like crazy right now. I don't know where the fuck that shit came from. Um, a, lot, a lot of Migos have, have been like, I don't know, I've been really fucking with the Migos lately. Juice World as well. Yeah, so, yeah. oh my god, that's. I crazy. know, and I, I've cut, like, because, like, for me, it's like. I feel a little guilty because, like, when he was alive, I wasn't really listening to him like that. And they put out a new project with the, with, with him, him yes, yeah. And then, so when he died, I still felt like, damn, I shouldn't start listening to him now because he's dead. But now that it's been some time, I'm starting to mm-hmm. ease my way. And that guy was fucking fire, he's man. A problem. Yeah, he's he was a, a real prop, bro. If yes. he would have just taken care of himself, yes. yeah, that's what it be with bro. most people. And I feel the same way about Pop Smoke too, yeah. bro. Yes. Pop Smoke was yo. Tell mm-hmm. me, he wouldn't have been fucking running shit, bro. And it's crazy how how they mixed his shit into what is still be playing and stuff. Yeah. So it's no question. It's no question that he would have kept. You he would have I mean? like, like Pop Smoke would have been fucking yeah, he would have been huge. huge. Yeah, he would have like, no been question. fucking wild. Yeah. But they, they he's still that. on the radio. No, I know, I know, I know. And I don't think it's just because we're in New York. He still was on the radio. He was just young. You know what he, I'm was just, like the songs he was that just other starting, bro. Yeah. Like, that shit pisses me off. Like, Pop Smoke. I, like, I think about it a lot. Like, yeah. damn. Like, Pop Smoke, X, Juice World, those three. Because X was really fine in his fucking group. Yeah. The yeah, X would have never stopped. He would have like, been. He would have kept evolving. Like because he was a, a music. Like, he was yeah. also, like, a music maker. Yes. Like, yes. like 
he would have been like probably like I mean he was a little bit of a dumbass like he did some right some shit but like he if he would have gotten the opportunity to keep making music and yes. keep going yeah yeah because that that yeah. actually so what was dope what I could say being just a little bit older right <laughs> <laughs> what was crazy is that there was a new genre for hip hop to open back up for like those older artists yeah you like that shit yeah, was yeah. a wave that yeah. happened all over again like where the older artists from them older eras yeah. was able to still get paid. Right. And X made a new album that was fire, like in the current market. You understand? Yeah. Like in the current music yeah. shit. With current artists and sounding good. Right. So it he was, was so like, he was so versatile, like a singer. Hell yeah, bro. Um rocks like All he was making shit, rock bro. music, All like that. screamo music. Yes, man. Like he was going cra- rapping. Yes. Like yeah, no, nah, X was a different gonna breed. be like rock and roll with the motherfuckers gonna be doing it like to where they're seventy and eighty, like you know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna be doing like it's actually yeah. gonna be like that now. Yeah. Before Hell it was frowned yeah. upon, but now with the you know what I'm saying, like those dudes are gonna be able to be making money just like rock and rollers and That's shit. That's fair. You know, shit. you know what I mean? But yeah, like the in my rotation, like you know, obviously Migos. I, I said, right. um, Future will always be Fucking in my right. rotate in my rotation. Free Po Shiesty. Okay, fire. Like yeah, okay. I have a little bit of him yeah. sw- swirling in my rotation. Like I said, Juice World. Um, Don Tolliver is actually pretty fire. I'm yeah, not gonna he's lie. on everything too. Yeah, like, so like I'm not gonna lie. He's he's shit, making dude. some good ass music. Yeah. Um, and Kendrick, yeah, yeah, I've been playing. Fire, yeah, I've been playing a little Kendrick. Fire, yeah. yeah, that's a nice list. Like my car ride, our car rides have been pretty, pretty yeah. fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's direct. And I got like I said, I gotta sit down, and listen to fucking Travis Scott's mm-hmm. album and Post Malone. There's probably a lot of bangers in each. Mm-hmm. Um, I've only listened to like a few songs in the beginning of each one. Um, but like even Post Malone, like like the first like couple songs we listened to were pretty. Yeah, it's the, the newer album. Pretty good. It was a vibe. Yeah, yeah it was like, like he's not going on a car ride. Yeah, and he's not making music like he used to. But like like I'm saying like his like rhythm and everything isn't like how it used to be. Yes. Like he's changed, but it's. it's yeah, so but he's actually an artist. Right. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like he's not. And I, I consider Travis anything. Scott like an artist as well. Yeah, he's not just like, anything. You know what I mean. So yeah. he's he's pretty good. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, a lot of these musicians are are taking a route of being versatile. Yeah, and then we're noticing the ones that aren't yeah. are kind of fading backwards mm-hmm. a bit. Yeah, I think that um, Post happened to come in in the era where he could make the type of music that was that going he wanted. on better yeah. than the people that made that Absolutely. kind of music. Absolutely. But he's just a complete artist that can do Hell, yeah. everything else. You understand right. too. Right. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And just fucking killed them doing that shit. You know what I mean? But I've actually seen him do so many different things to show how complete you know what I mean? He is as an artist anyway. His concerts are fantastic. Yeah, too. even though he get fucked up like that, he's <laughs> he's one of them people though. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? like yeah. the the performance is yeah. just even like mm-hmm. I I don't want to say greater, but like yeah. it still sounds fucking amazing yes. when he's like yes. off his whatever yes. he's fucking off. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! So the, uh, the White Howard sexual assault lawsuit uh, with him and his pastor uh, <laughs> was like pressing the dude. You know what I'm saying? Who was uh, going back and forth saying that he knew what was going on, you know what I mean? And they tried to uh, get him to do an NDA. Uh, <laughs> they tried to get him to do an NDA, you know what I'm saying? And uh, But what was funny about it, I don't really care, you know what I mean? Uh, it was just really, really funny that he used him and his, his pastor. I think that was, like, mad funny to actually... You know, like press somebody, like you know what I mean, to get the I pastor. Just, What's the pastor supposed to be saying? Like, you know, nah, don't say nothing anymore in the name of. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of God. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? nah. what um, <laughs> Dwight Howard is a crazy dude, man. Yes. Like Dwight Howard is a crazy fucking dude. Like I don't know, from being a basketball player, you know, mm-hmm. as good as he was, whatever. Mm-hmm. Career starts to decline. Like he has like how many baby mamas and how many kids? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, dude's just a complete goof. Mm-hmm. Um, and the thread is up there. Oh my goodness. The training shit, which you know, shout out to to the LGBT community. Word. No. Like absolutely. That, that I'm not here to disrespect. Yeah, uh, but it's just you know, it's funny. Like the way Howard being you know a six eleven yeah. bottom. Yeah. Like the. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like uh, that story was crazy because so much came out with that, and he denied and denied, but like. 
it was there. Um, going to Taiwan. I will know. Okay, won a ring with the Lakers. That was cool. Uh, it was nice seeing Dwight Howard getting a ring. Yeah. Um, but what about what he said about Jokic? Um, that you, in his prime. Yeah. Well, like, I think the thing is, is like my opinion when it comes to basketball is that we're already in a different era of basketball. People don't realize it yet. Yeah. Like I think there was. But even if. So, no, no, I know, I know, I know. Okay. But hear me out. But hear me out. Okay. So like Dwight Howard. I think when he played basketball, mm-hmm. like, okay. you know, when he was great, when he was mm-hmm. in his prime, like he said, uh-huh. was an era where bigs were still dominating. Yes. People were still going inside. Yes. Um, defense was tough still. Yes. Um, so I think, yeah, Dwight Howard has every reason to say that because when he played basketball, yeah. his style of basketball was one of the best. Yeah. <laughs> and it was fit for that era of basketball. Right? Okay. Then we moved on to Steph and the three ball becoming crazy. And I think even now, we're in the no defense being played. Like, mm-hmm. everyone's doing crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Fast-ass fast breaks. Yes. Like, this is crackhead basketball is what I call yes. it. Okay. Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah. So, we got we got some baked mac and cheese. There we go. Good um, stuff. So, but mm-hmm. before we ultimately dig in and uh-huh. give this, we're going to give this a rating. Mm-hmm. We're going to give this a rating. Uh-huh. Um... Jokic in today's basketball, okay. his basketball is obviously, I would say he's the number one player right now. Okay. Like, you have to, coming off a ring, the two so MVPs. you're not convinced, that you're not, you're okay. Like, you're preaching to the choir here. I'm just, I agree. It, it's a hard, it, like, I feel like Dwight Howard is right because, like, it's hard. Wow. I'm not saying right, but I'm not saying wrong because it's like, in his style of basketball, yeah, like, in okay. his prime, like, what was needed was, but like in today we saw Dwight Howard die out because he couldn't evolve okay. with the game. Yes. So like in today's game, no Dwight Howard style of basketball, I wouldn't put it above Jokic. Uh-huh. But back in Howard's day, for what was necessary and what was needed, and yeah. why the Magic got to the finals yes. and why he almost won a couple MVPs and he won yes. all the Defensive Players of the Year. Yes. Yeah, I'd have to say it. All right, so I appreciate this a little. Okay. That was very, very nice. I'm not going to front. <laughs> I agree with most of it, except the part that you didn't mix. You didn't put Jokic back in Dwight's era, but you put Dwight in this era. Because now, I don't want to shit on Jokic right now. So wait, let me just say something. <laughs> so now let me go, right? I believe in all truth, fuck that Dwight is crazy for saying that. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe that in his era, everything that you said is 100% accurate. Right. Um, he did everything that was needed and was the best at a turnaround jump shot yes. and blocking shots. You understand? And going and get a oop. You understand what I'm saying? If he I, had a little bit better teammates on those Orlando teams, he might have won one. Okay. I still might. believe that in Jokic's game and what how Jokic plays basketball... Um, it still translates to back then because he the it's only th- the only thing he does different is that when he's actually tracked off by defense, yeah. he will shoot a three. It's not like he sets up for a three unless it's like an out of bounds oh, yeah. play yeah. where they tossing it to the we know the play yeah. where they're tossing it to the left hand yeah. corner for him to hit that three. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah. in other words, all of his money comes from basic basketball <laughs> running to the top of the key. Yeah. Looking for whoever slashing, passing it to him, and that's how he gets the assist, and he I makes just, his buckets in the middle. I don't know. It's just I don't know how I would feel because like Jokic with people defensively, like, hell no, bro, hell but, no. But that's what I'm saying. That's but like not so, a comparison. so Jokic, it's like people constantly in but his the face all game and everything long. Else? I don't know because yeah. the centers back in the day, I think, were better than the centers today. Yes, they were. I mean, so but that's what I'm saying. So physically, but, but not that's what I'm saying. Offensively. You really think like Jokic could be? Better if he was forced to be way more physical. I if don't he know. was forced to, but but I'm saying this is his his game is predicated on turnarounds anyway. So him being pushed to the turnaround is all he would be doing. Right. He would be being nudged to a turnaround. You understand what I'm that's saying? Fair. You he would be that's a, fair. That's it. Yeah. He would be nudged to that. Now the of course the running floater that he gets off to. In the you know that's what I mean what down saying. the lane like, that would be eliminated in the three. Yeah, exactly. You understand what I'm so saying? That's what I'm saying. Like he's gonna have like, I mean, I feel like it would be a situation where he would probably be be in better shape back mm-hmm. in the day. 
That's but I don't, I don't, know, I just don't know how his game tra- like assisting. I think would still be there. All of this, um, right? Scoring, I think would be less. Because he's but his rebounds, I think would be. His, he would get destroyed on the rebounds, man. I don't know because so that's why, and and, and, and I want to, I want to taste this. Before. Yeah, but I, I <laughs> this is a healthy debate. I like yeah. this because this is a healthy debate because. We're talking about centers flying around and getting to actually, like, truck people out the fucking paint yes. to get the rebounds. Yes. I don't think Jokic can survive with all that. I do, because you just said the one thing about his energy, about his energy yeah. and his, you know what I mean? He would have the stamina right. and the speed, you know what I mean? So, right. yeah, that like, actually <laughs> builds for that. That actually is what is you good. need for this that shit, good. you know what I mean? And me playing in that era and watching that era, right, he is actually too offensively sound for them. Because we were taught back in that era and me playing in that era, right? You was the big man only had turnaround and you loved that era. Basically only had turnaround moves and physical dominance to get to the basket and dunk it. It was rare. You had to be uh, a super duper power forward to be really doing the midgy shit. Like you what understand saying. what I'm saying? The power forward ran that, you know what I mean, in the small forward, you know. So it's that it's it's way it's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Bro. So that's why like I just I think like Ooh, I love yeah. this one. How how are like to wait for what he did in that time he was the best. That's what I'm saying. Of his and, time. Like, but and he, Jokic is the best of this time. Yes. You can agree with that. Hell yeah. But it's like I don't know. Like, it, w- it would be interesting because it's yeah. like, I don't know. I think Jokic thrives because he has a lot of people that does a lot of things. Like, yeah. in the NBA in total, like, all 30 teams. Like, yeah. I don't know if you noticed, like, yeah. like we were sitting here on the NBA podcast. We were uh-huh. looking at the Eastern Conference alone. We're like, wow, like, 1 through 15, there's a lot of talent uh-huh. on every single team. Mm-hmm. Whereas in Dwight Howard's days, there was, there was still, like, half the league felt like bums. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but, but it's all due to how it's marketed right, also. and it's how not, it's evolved in yeah, life. Yeah, it doesn't, so. you know what I mean? It's, it's yeah, good to be. It's good to yeah, be. That's but not, we're about to try this mac and cheese. Yes. Oh, Ready, babe? Man. He caught me in an era conversation where I actually like uh, the newer era guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Fabulous. I fucking love this shit. Mm-hmm. Baked mac, bro. That's like the staple of our relationship. Wow. Oh. Okay. Wow. Real time. How you feel about that shit? That's good business. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give me another bite of that real quick. Yeah. So what was next? So, I like that draw there. All right, so I don't really want to talk about sports okay. controversies just to yeah. save time. Okay. So, aliens, okay. right? Mm-hmm. So, they came out with, they basically, the government was just like, oh, yeah, aliens are real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And no one batted an eye. Nobody <laughs> cares. I don't understand why. Um, any other time. There's an executive of right, right, right. or high ranking officer of the military testifying. That, that oh this shit that was not real. Yeah, it's or it's something very major where they're right, right, all right. dialed into it. You right. Know what I mean? But for whatever reason, this having a high ranking <laughs> official yeah. you know what I mean? Like fucking right, like, Yeah, we actually like one of the UFOs we recovered a couple of aliens and I'm nobody like, fucking had anything to say. That was it wasn't major thing. news, like no, amazing. like, big, like, CBS 6 News just mm-hmm. saying, oh, this just in, breaking news, aliens are real. It's crazy. You, so you see what I mean about the media now? Yeah. I think that it's a microwave, too, bro. I think that um, people care about what they care about now. <laughs> like, like not like that, but every bit of like that. Do you need another one? Mm-hmm. Love Me, too. Okay. Love you. Um, so, so This shit's great. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> So that's uh, that's crazy for me, you know, right. in a different way, like because that should be some shit that people should be doing. I thought like, like remember, I would say like, man, if they control anything, control that, like, you know. Like I would say like, I don't know, I'm 25 now. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was growing up, like mm-hmm. that was a big deal. Like, oh my god, if aliens are real, like whatever. Now it's like, oh yeah, they're real, like. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's just logic. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but basically what I'm trying to say is like, I know like back in the day, if this happened like 20 years ago, mm-hmm. damn, I've been alive for a while. It feels like <laughs> and people always look at me mm-hmm. like when I say that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, if we were, if this was to happen 20 years ago, I feel like it would have made major breaking news to then scared mad people or whatever the case have you now. It's just, well, we're in a different time. Well, yeah, again, uh, we're in a, people are, we're copy. Do you know what I mean? Like, as a human race, we got strong-ass weapons where we, we know that we can destroy ourselves. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, we're advancing with our technology. You know what I mean? Um, we utilize our technology and advance it really, really fast. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, and everybody, every human citizen that I run across nowadays is actually dialed into that kind of shit. Right. We understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah, What's absolutely. crazy about it is that, like, if people are doing that, who gives a fuck about aliens sometimes? Right. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, not like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, they think that, like, the powers that be got that shit covered because they, we think they could destroy us anyway. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But the truth is, is that we kind of should be... Go ahead, boy, get it. No, my bad. <laughs> like, <I'm> like... <laughs> but, um... The truth is, is that, like, people should be kind of dialed into that shit a right. little bit more, man. Like, checking for it. Like, because, like, that's the future, no doubt. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, damn, do they got somewhere for us to go? Like, you know what I mean? All the global warming and everything everybody talks about all the yeah, time. Well, they have a, you know what I mean? They got how to cure? Like, you know what I mean? That That's what I'm saying. Like, that global know? warming shit. Like, like, and I've shit on global warming a couple of times, but you can see it, man. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. This summer, unpredictable weather. It, and the summer's basically over. Right. It's August, the beginning of August, when it's supposed to be super hot. Like, it's supposed to be complaining. Normally, summer's supposed to be, you know, hot all the way through, but we're getting these weird weather changes. Winter, it's like not snowing really anymore. Mm-hmm. We're getting like two snowstorms per mm-hmm. year in New York. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Upstate, bro. Like, I don't know if you've seen, like, there's a lot of water going bad. Of course. Um... Of course. That's, yeah, bro. It's like that's what it's I, weird. I wonder if they got a cure. We're not checking. That's More natural disasters. Sense. That's what doesn't make sense. Like, why aren't people trying to check with them and see if you know what I mean? Like, damn, yeah. they, you know what I mean? How can they help out so, with this crisis? Crazy. We ain't you see the random running. sinkholes too. Crazy. Yeah, the earth is old, and what we built on is old. You know what I mean? That always trips me out too, though. Like how slow we are to like. Um, Maybe I don't see it too, but yeah. it doesn't. It, it trips me out how we don't work on our uh, infrastructure more, like our city infrastructures and shit like that. And um, no, they'd rather just paint lines on the highway. Uh, <laughs> I guess like we never really. You know, see, what I mean? this highway like, has been getting worked on for like three weeks just to paint new lines. I'm like what the fuck? Like <laughs> my holes keep reappearing. You know right. what I'm saying? Like the same shit. Like rip that shit up and fix it for real. Like you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> No, no wonder it's sinkhole and shit. Damn, hey, babe. That mac and cheese got us. Yeah. <laughs> that got me in a chokehold. Mm-hmm. That shit was amazing. But yeah, man. Um, you know, I'm always interested in that. Yeah, so but nice. it's just crazy that they just came mm-hmm. out and said, like, aliens are fucking yeah. real. I'm always on So, that. let's say if the aliens came down, right? Mm-hmm. And this is a question she had. Mm-hmm. Great mac and cheese, by the way. Mm-hmm. Like, that baked mac was everything I needed. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so if an a- aliens came down and they said, hey, do you want to come back to the motherland, which is, you know, their land. Mm-hmm. Like, they basically pressed you, like, you know, you can stay here and suffer. We're going to be here. We'll be visiting, whatever. Mm-hmm. Making our life worse. Mm-hmm. Um, being annoying. Whatever it is that aliens do. Because we still don't actually know what aliens right. do. Like, it could be, like... Right. Like, it could be just... Like, it could be anything. Like, that. that's also the part that I think people uh, skip out on, is that aliens could be anything. Right. Like, they're not... They're absolutely not going to be what we painted them mm-hmm. as, unless someone has the inside scoop mm-hmm. on what aliens actually look like, mm-hmm. and then that's what mm-hmm. they look like. But what would you do if an alien said you have to come back to the motherland or stay here? Ask and me suffer? more. Okay. Yeah. What you doing and what you doing if you if you choose to go there? If I had a choice, there we go. So can I ask a question before I answer? Yeah. Do I have the opportunity to come back to Earth? To live or like, or is this like a one-way trip? Like I go there and I never come back. 
Mm, I feel like it should question. be a one way trip. If like you, like you would have to, you would have to find trip, your way back. They, they might destroy Earth or make it into their okay. Own so planet. they're going to destroy Earth or some. So this is some. Bullshit. Well, no. Nah, if you choose, if, if you choose to stay, aliens are here now, and mm-hmm. whatever they're gonna end up doing is whatever they end up doing. But like you don't planet, know. Right. But you don't know. So it's, it'd be like taking a chance. Like you stay here, maybe you get enslaved by the aliens, mm-hmm. or you know, you stay here, maybe maybe that's not what happens. Maybe mm-hmm. we figure out a way to work together they improve everything mm-hmm. we advance od but so, you, you know like us humans are probably going to try to fight and mm-hmm. kill the aliens and then we'll be fucked mm-hmm. so but that's the chance you're taking mm-hmm. if you stay here but if you go mm-hmm. it's all unknown so you have no tricky, idea so so here's the thing I'm, I'm really into this kind of shit so i'm thinking so many two on two levels <laughs> so i'm wondering like if i go to what is their planet like like why the fuck did they yeah. come to ours like is their planet burnt up is it about to burn up you know what i mean whatever whatever um, or is it a prosperous planet, you know what I mean, whereas though they're the type of alien that goes and seeks to, you know what I mean, give knowledge to other nations, yeah. and when they don't take it, they destroy them, whatever the fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Um, so I started thinking a lot, man. So uh, what I would say, in all honesty, right? Hmm. Can I take anybody with me? I can take people with me? I can yes. take just like you and your family, like you guys have like one chance to get off this planet. Because I guess, like I believe what you mean. Like there's like aliens that come here. We share information and everything. Mm-hmm. So like you said, like what happens? I believe that they're already coexisting yes. with the human race. Thank you, because you're going so, deep. So like, you um, say if the compromise is broken, so they decide to take over the planet. Oh, I'm going with them. Yeah, yeah me and my people going with right, them. Right, you know, you know what I'm you, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. gave me more, more contact. Like, yes. You can still like live on their planet, but they're just expanding their population, yeah. so they want another planet. They're yeah, like, because they hey, know we're like, killing ourselves and all that shit anyway, mm-hmm. right? That kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, I okay. think I would go. I mean, yeah, like, uh, let's be real. You know, like I said, mm-hmm. my favorite motto now in life is life is too short. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, if I get to experience aliens in a whole mm-hmm. other planet, yeah, I'm doing it. You're taking folks and you out of here, right? Yeah, and... Yeah. No yeah. offense, no offense, babe. I'm fucking the shit out of an alien. <laughs> like, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta do it once in my life. I gotta, I would have to have sex with an alien. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'll be the first human to get an alien STD. I don't know. That's funny. I don't even fucking know, but I'm, I'm sorry. But this mac and cheese is crazy. Oh. Mac and cheese is. What would you rate it? So what's the scale? Ten out of ten. Oh, it's a ten. It's a ten. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I taught her everything she knows about that food. No. It's like, no. <laughs> you know my white ass ain't too shit. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but, um, yeah, I, I would go. I would have to go because, like, I think me, I trust my social abilities that, like, once I adapt with the aliens, I can kind of rise the ranks Okay. of their ranks okay. and then develop a way to have, like, you know, something cool for myself there. I would love that. I would love to just learn a whole different... It's like how I feel now mm-hmm. is like... Because I have nothing against any religion. I have nothing against any... Mm-hmm. Way of life. None of that type of shit. But I'm good. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I want to... Like, I don't mind. Like, mm-hmm. like, we've spent a couple of days with like a Guyanese family, for example. Mm-hmm. I love their whole culture. Mm-hmm. Everything. Just wanted to learn more. Wanted to eat their food be a part like i want to do that with other cultures Mm -hmm. on the in the world like Mm -hmm. you know different religions cultures races what what have you right mac and cheese was fucking phenomenal baby (laughs) this is gonna be the mac and cheese episode Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) tom kem and mac and cheese Mm -hmm. um yeah so yeah, I would want to do, I would wanna do a, that with the aliens, just learn yeah, just a I like whole bunch that. of knowledge. I like that. Um, that's a big part of who I am anyway, man. I like yeah. That's the part of what I love to do. I love to go places, meet different people um, who like to meet different people. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's, that's right. fair. You know? I fuck with that. So you're, you're definitely going. You're taking your peoples and yeah, going? That's why I asked that question. All right. You know what I mean? As long as I can take my peoples, I'm out. <laughs> so something interesting that happened that you were telling me about, so I want you to tell me more about mm-hmm. Is that the UPS workers went on strike? Yeah, so but it's, it's also cool. the Hollywood writers went on strike as well. I know it's two yes, separate, two strikes, separate different two strikes. things. One came to a completion, one didn't. Right. Um, the UPS workers was real good to me too because um, when I was younger, I was like a UPS helper. 
uh, around Christmas right, time. Right, 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 you know right, what I mean? Where right. I get to ride in the truck and I used to know that they used to get mad that I used to get part of their tips. They worked all, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those motherfuckers worked all year. I'm only yeah. there for, you know what I mean? I'll let, you, I'll let you digest the food real quick. Thank you, God damn. Again, the Mac was a 10. <laughs> he said, thank you, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> that Mac and cheese was a 10, but um, yeah, so um, that wouldn't appeal to me. We can start, yeah, we can start yeah. from the top. All right, right. that. So um, what happened is, is that I like that one a lot is because back younger, I was a UPS driver helper. Right. Um, during like the Christmas season and right, shit right, like right. that, so I used to love that job, but I used to like fucking with the drivers because they, I used to see how they got mad when right. they had to break me off the tips that I barely worked for. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like they, they was pissed off, but anyway, they ended up uh, going on a, a, a little strike to get their contract negotiated, like threatening for it. Basically, no real, real active, active thing. Um, but anyway, man, those dudes is getting twenty one dollars an hour now with like a forty eight percent wage increase like over the next four years so that's like Damn. the best job that you can kind of get right now yeah because like, one of that people that don't have a job you so know then that should that should top out food. at like 33 dollars an hour mm-hmm. maybe after the four years are up that's fire damn that's 33 fire. dollars an hour i'm about to that's fire and now you're like, going uh, truck that's you know what i mean that's sorting you know what i mean shit right, like that so right. that's kind of um that's, that was really cool then watching the actors fucking you know excuse me but hey we love movies and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That the, the writers are on strike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, both of them together, so it's really cool. They got a problem with things being streamed and no residuals being paid. Like, well, yeah, because I mean, I I don't like streaming services did ruin a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Like, for being honest, mm-hmm. like you know, DVDs especially, like people actually paying like That's actual bread for, for like every like uh-huh. different movie, which uh-huh. I fuck with that a little bit more. I mean, I guess it's a little more expensive than a streaming service, but like. Streaming services we're taking for granted already anyway. We're mm-hmm. just, you know, watching whatever, barely, you know, mm-hmm. kind of taking advantage because we're only paying this one monthly fee. Mm-hmm. The streaming companies get to keep that. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know that they weren't cutting it with the actors and shit. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. fucked up. Like, so that's kind of crazy that you did that first part as a segue. Is because that's how they would get that money, the DVDs, the VHSs, the, you know what I mean, the Blu-rays. And I miss that, like, you know going out I mean? to the movies, like, people don't yeah. care to do that anymore, because, like, the no. movies are going to end up on a streaming platform yeah. eventually. Yeah, but that's why the one, so listen, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker, you know what I mean, um, I don't really want to shout the brand, but I use Apple, and I buy movies there, you know what I mean, like, yeah. as a form of, like, the same shit, you know what I mean, because yeah. I used to have a crazy DVD collection, you know what right. I mean, shit like right, that, right, right, you know right. what I mean, but that's, like, stuff that, yeah. you know what I mean, like, like, Hollywood video going out, yeah, you know what I mean, all that I shit hated like that, that. Like, like, you know, yeah. I'll, buy, I'll buy a movie, Blockbuster. you know what I'm yeah, all that yeah, shit, yeah, I miss that shit, yeah, and yeah. plus, you know, having, like, the right kind of TVs, I want to watch shit the right way, right. you know what I mean, right, so, exactly, um, that's that was, yeah, yeah, that's some crazy shit. I'm glad UPS workers did that because their yeah. their jobs are a little crazy. And it get like, hot in them goddamn trucks. Yeah, it get hot in them trucks. It sucks in the winter. Yeah, bro. Um, <laughs> you always gotta you know risk someone like robbing your yes. robbing your ass. Yes. Probably happens more often than people mm-hmm. think. Mm-hmm. Um, then the writer strikes. I mean, pretty sure they get paid decently though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess I don't feel too bad. Yeah, I hope, it's the actors and shit like that. Yeah, I hope I hope like. They keep making movies and shit. That would yeah. suck. If not, yeah. but... Yeah. Yeah, it's weird to, like, turn on TV and it'd be, like, all game shows that are, like... <laughs> coming up next. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, well, fucking jumping into a ball. But, I mean, I don't know, next. like... I don't know, like, I feel like there's a lot of shit that's just declining in today's yeah. age. Which I feel like, you know, humans should go on straight. Yeah. Fuck it. There it is. Like, I for me, like... For it. Like, video games are, are starting to go downhill, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Like, sporting games, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't know if people can agree with me on this, but, like, sporting games kind of suck. Because I, I play, like, it's MLB, Madden, and NBA 2K, right? So, you think 2K is going down? Like, I mean, it's just, where's the improvements, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Like, they don't have no competition, so they're mm-hmm. still half ass and everything. Same mm-hmm. with MLB. So, like, mm-hmm. Madden's been the same game for fucking mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. Um, and then their video games are often delayed. Like it's like, it's a lot of time in between these good video games. Mm-hmm. When before, there was like a good video game coming out like every mm-hmm. other week. Like mm-hmm. there was like two drops like every mm-hmm. other week. You know what I mean? Um, TV shows are getting ass now. Like yeah, what, what new TV shows are we actually right. really dying to tune into? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, movies are hard to come by. I think that was because of COVID though. Mm-hmm. Um, that the movie scene is kind of declined. 
Um, food and everything else is mad expensive. Everything. Like, let's talk about that, too. Like, that shit, shit is, is as expensive as all fucking hell. Bro. My girl go crazy. <laughs> I'm talking about go crazy. She be like, this is only two bags. <laughs> right. just a hundred dollars. Right. right, that's what I'm she saying. Like, I'm like, baby. And she be like, it's mostly your shit. You know, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Cause you know, you know, I juice and all. Oh, did I leave my juice cup? Do y'all still have that? I don't know what happened to that. Edit. Yeah. Right. We I, might. No yeah. We could look. All right. I just yeah, it. it was a while ago, yes, wasn't it? it? Was. Yeah. It was like months ago. Yes, yes, yes. And they probably still had that shit. We probably, we probably still have it somewhere. Yeah, That's probably for it. Yeah, no, no, no. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, trash leaders in too many positions. I'm yes. talking about like CEOs and companies, our government. Yes. Like there's just trash ass leaders making yeah. some horrible ass decisions. Yeah. Um, health healthcare is in the dumps. Yeah, like doctors don't give a shit no more. Yeah. They're just like I feel like too many doctors are just giving out medication and not actually doing their job. Mm-hmm. Um, because like all of our like mental like mental health of so many people has gone down the drain. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas back in the day, doctors actually you know mm-hmm. actually helped with that shit. CPS doesn't stand for the right things anymore. Mm-hmm. There's way too many stories out there that CPS is fucking up. Mm-hmm. So we don't really have pro- like protection for our children. And there's just too much shadiness where shadiness shouldn't be, man. Oh, man. Wow. Like, so that's a couple of things. It's a lot unpack. of shit just going wrong. Yeah, there's a lot of things to unpack. You know what's crazy is that, like... Uh, Jobs, at, too, bro? Yeah, every level of like, society, there's different people there for different reasons that they shouldn't be. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, um, I believe that a lot of things have turned into, like, a popularity contest more than it's... Fair enough. More than a qualification. Yeah, fair enough, fair uh, enough. Being yeah. that type of thing. Um, and that's why you see that people right. are competent in these different things. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, and then, like you said, also, like, as it pertains to mental health, I think that because everything is so, we're such capitalistic more than, you know what I mean? Like, we're not ethical yeah, when yeah, it comes to yeah, a lot of fair. different things. It's more about we're capitalistic. So when thinking yeah. about shit, it's more about how much can I bill you for? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, Take care tell me about it. At the same it. time. You understand what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard. And that's why I believe a lot of people have also taken their own routes. And then, you know what I mean? Like, and before it used to be called like quacks and shit, but people take holistic (laughs) ways and find different ways to, and find out what's going on with the medications and, you know what I mean? Supplement and do these different things for themselves and shit, man. I don't, you know what I mean? But anyway, you know what I mean? Like, but people have to take care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like self-preservation is the number one rule of fucking life. You know what I mean? So like, if you Absolutely. have these different problems, you know what I mean? Like, um, what's crazy is, is I know that we live in a government, but the government don't got shit to do with my house. You understand what I'm saying? Right, I hate right. that when they do actually get involved because it makes you have to, you know what I mean? Like, it makes the weirdest and the wildest and the worst shit come out. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, that's because, absolutely true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. now you're dealing with an entity that is actually trying to tell you what to do in your fucking house. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. So, right. excuse me, but, you know what I mean? <laughs> at the end of the day, that type of shit grind my gears. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I, that bothers me. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, uh, it's it's a fucking shame. You know what I mean? Right. Like, um, we can have people that are supposed to protect you know what I mean? But actually exploit. You right. know what I mean? Or even if they don't exploit. They might not exploit, but just do the wrong fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like, when it might take an extra minute to listen. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. and figure out, find out that what they was Absolutely. thinking the whole time was wrong. You right. know what I mean? Like, and people are people are like that, man. I've ran into yeah. it a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and it's just like, it's just fucked up. You know? And that's um, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, just so many different areas in life now are just... <laughs> Yeah, man, people are... Yeah. Like I said, the world, like, all that global warming shit. Yeah, man, that shit. Um, yeah. That's why I would want to, you know, pick the alien's brain, too, just to go back Oh, to that. yeah, bro, like, you I want to go like, see a really thriving-ass yeah. society, you know what's what I mean? On? Well, the secret is just people working together, man. Because, like, there's just so much shit that one person will know, but, like, not know, but mm-hmm. they don't want to work with anybody. Mm-hmm. So that shit that they don't know just always shines, whereas all we see, like, for example, Saudi Arabia, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they, you know, you can say whatever you want about them, mm-hmm. but the motherfuckers are, like, together. Mm-hmm. Like, they all share their money. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like, it's a crazy concept. Like, they all share their money. Mm-hmm. They all work on business together. Mm-hmm. Like, they are all filthy fucking rich mm-hmm. because they work together, bro. Right. And I don't know how America hasn't seen that yet mm-hmm. and tried to do that. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying they have to do everything that Saudi Arabia does, but right. at least like open the fucking book, yeah, right? And like think about something, <laughs> right? <laughs> because this is ass. That's funny. This like the world we live in today is yeah. starting to get really ass. Yeah. And I know y'all, y'all out there can say, "Oh, you know, Americans, freedom. That, that's cool." Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know. Yeah, I think in some ways. Yeah, I mean, I think I know what it is too. When you have, I try to be as off the grid as possible. Right. You know what I mean? Like I'm getting there. Now. I mean, like, I'm not like there, that, but you know what I mean? Because I love, you know what I mean? Like, right. what we do, I like, right. you know what I mean? Like, I like, you know what yeah. I mean? I think yeah. COE, you know what I mean? Like, for sure. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, but at the same time, I'm particular about shit. You know what I mean? So, right. And that's a better word. Like, so I like to be partially off grid with a lot of shit, man, because at the end of the day, um, it's hard when you have different hands in your business that you can't control. Like, right, you right. know what I mean? Like, to yeah. cut it, like, to put it, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. in context, like, and it's because at the end of the day, that's a that's a hard thing to get from under, too. And when you get from under it, because I've also been up under that shit in different right. ways, you understand right. what I'm saying? That it's like, that shit is like choking you. You right. don't understand what right. I'm saying? Right. It's right. like, right. man, like, Absolutely. you know how to breathe, swim, <laughs> every fucking thing right. you need right. to do to, but like, push-ups, everything. Everything you need yeah. to do, you even make your breathing better, but it's something like on your neck. And it's like, ah, and once you get away from it, that's why I'm off the grid with most shit. Like, you Absolutely. understand what I'm yeah. saying? Because that's it's a good like, point. you know what I mean? Yeah. That shit, like, and I'm happy to hear that, like, I'm not happy for the situation, but I'm happy that, like, it's making you, like, that way you yeah. understand what I'm saying yeah bro I mean because it's like it's uh, you learn a lot when you go through like real heavy shit yes like and that's why like I, I don't mm-hmm. sit there and I don't like you know I mean for a little bit there like yeah mm-hmm. I was sad just mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. Um, but ultimately I love this shit mm-hmm. I love lessons learned mm-hmm. through all the hard shit mm-hmm. because I feel like once you go through enough shit you eventually mm-hmm. if you Look at it the right way, you become really invincible. Mm-hmm. Plus, you're you're like an opportunist. Like, we yeah. was having a, a a quick one off, not like that, but yeah. we was having one off camera. Like, um, and I'm just bringing it back real quick. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Right, if you don't mind. Like, yeah. um, we was talking about like things becoming easy for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. that's the thing. Like, yeah. um, the thing about that is, is that once you know what something is, it's easy for you to know how to beat it. Right, or, exactly. You know what I mean? Make it yeah, easy for you. Yeah. Too. You like, understand it, it, what It I'm takes saying? Like a little bit like, for me to adapt, but once I'm adapted, I'm like... You feel what I'm like... Because, like, I'm good at knowing how to talk to certain people. Mm-hmm. Like, I know... You know, just because there's all these different groups of people yes. now these days, yeah. like... So I know how to, like, really talk to people once yeah. I'm comfortable. Yeah. And, you know, I can input my voice where it needs to be inputted to make shit better. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Yeah. I think that's what it is. But that's what it is, yeah. bro. We got to adapt. You know what I mean? That's, that's what you said it better. Like, once you adapt to shit, yeah. motherfuckers... Because it's hard. Because like, you got to adapt to the, the simple fact that life is never going to be easy. And that shit might and be hard. Oh, the first shit, that, that blow, yeah. that, whatever it may be, that blow, that sting from that yeah. unfamiliar, because that's what it is. Because life is never going to be easy, because those motherfuckers that do have the easy life, like the motherfuckers that are spoon-fed, you yeah. know, I'm not really against those people oh no but the motherfuckers that Mm -hmm. do get born into you know some really good shit Mm -hmm. like they eventually have more problems later on in life because they don't know Mm -hmm. true struggle so how to navigate that shit right so if they either go through mental issues because they're fed everything Mm -hmm. and they don't know how to handle challenges like they get theirs eventually right just like on the other way around people that have to fight for it they go through all their harder shit Mm -hmm. early on and then they thrive yeah. After if they yeah, say because you learn how to navigate, you yeah. know what I mean. You learn how so to one way or another, a human is going to struggle in life. It's never yes, going to be good all the absolutely. way through. Yeah, that's absolutely. what our life is. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? That's what it is. You know yeah. what I mean? You said it's so cool. You know what I mean? You, you learn, and that's what I believe. And then I apply the lesson, like you know what I mean? The shit that I learned, man. Like, Hell let, yeah. let that shit come again, like you know what I mean? That and, is. That and is. I score off of it. Not do I just dodge it? You know what I mean? Like, you <laughs> know right. What I mean? So. So moving on, we're gonna wrap it up with some some questions here, some yes. quick hits. Yes. Um, if you want to be a part of it as well, yes. you can be. So Somebody if there right. was, if you could receive either a magical van that could teleport anywhere at any time, <laughs> would you take that, or would you take a ring that you touch the ring to a book? Is that what it was? Yep. You get all of that book's knowledge. And it's unlimited uses. 
Yeah. So me, mm-hmm. I'm taking the magical van. Okay. And the reason being is because if you get this magical van, you don't have to pay money for a car anymore. I assume you're not paying for gas because it's just a magical fucking van, right? Okay. So, <laughs> I'm not going to have to worry about paying for a, a house because why would you need a house if you got this amazing magical van? I'm sure it's magically big inside too. So, I'm sure you could live inside of it. And you're going to be teleporting anywhere? <laughs> I just got to run into some money. I could teleport into perfect situations that'll make me money. And now I'm going to always have money. Okay. And that's that's why I'm going with the van. You're going with the van. Because I can get all this knowledge by seeing shit. I'm a better... Visual. I'm a better visual guy okay. than I am just like, you know, reading a book. Okay. So I think I could visually learn shit. Actually be there for really crazy shit. Okay. Shit that I want to see. Yes. And I'm going to enjoy my life more than having all that knowledge. Okay. <laughs> that's Nothing funny. against having the knowledge of books Because there's some crazy books that right. You'd have that knowledge and you'd be pretty Fucking set in life but I don't know So I'm assuming that I'm Going with the van It's okay. beautiful I've always would want to teleport bro Okay, That's the one thing in life I think I really want to do is teleport Find a way Yeah so if I were to go next I would so I'm going to be cool And I'm going to be just well I'm going to be cool Damn that was crazy but <laughs> wow. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the van too for a lot of the same reasons, but um a little more specifically is just to be anytime anywhere. If you had the book, you know I don't think the book could actually tell you how to do. I don't think any book I would be, you know what I mean, that, would be able yeah. to give you the knowledge to be able to do that shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So I would take the book if I could do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I could actually be everywhere anytime I wanted to be there. To what? learn something and actually see half of the shit that's written down. I can set it. I can you know like, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm part a visual on Friday yes. night. Yes. Like, yes. like, damn, babe, Friday night, we're going to go to the 80s and we're going to party our ass off. That sounds mad fun. Word up, we'll go right to when something happens. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. When like, it yo, Kev, like, let's let's go see, like, uh, like fucking Michael Jordan play real quick. Let's up. go, let's go like, see you know the like, finals. Like, whatever, you know what whatever we're fucking thinking of, we could just... Yo, that would be so amazing. fire. Yeah, I got and then it said anywhere in the world too. Yeah, I'm going with I'd be the like, band. yeah, let's let's go to like some exotic ass island and yeah. just like whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with the That's band. why I said I don't I don't need a house no more. I don't need none of that shit. The ring, yeah. whatever. It's like you still gotta work after that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you still gotta work for shit, even yeah. though you have the knowledge. But yeah. Um, so what do you Me? Uh yeah, I'll take the van. Because like you yeah. said, like yeah, a book can give you knowledge, but being at the place actually gives you more knowledge. Because sometimes the book is not... Accurate. Oh, that totally would be another accurate. thing. Imagine living these events through, mm-hmm. like, so that you can see what actually fucking happened. Yeah, that's happened. what I'm saying. You see it happen. Yeah. yeah. You know I mean? like, I'll be parked up on a thing somewhere. They don't even... They've never even seen a van, bro. Like, <laughs> the van is watching it go I imagine they see the van. Yeah, like, all these places. You imagine losing that van? That would be you know crazy like, if, shit. like, the shit got fucking repo. <laughs> And like you get the full experience of actually being there compared to reading a book. Yes, right. And trying to have it your and I had, yeah. it. bro. And I had that thought. Like, imagine if when we die, right? And this is completely like mm-hmm. separate. We okay. die and we go to the afterlife. Okay. Like, what if you like get in there and you finally figure out how shit actually was? You're like, damn, they lied to us this whole time. Yeah. Or like, wow, the Illuminati was real. Look at what they be doing. Yeah. I think that might be a struggle with like people in the afterlife. I I thought like, damn, maybe there is a struggle because those people that go there find out the life they were living was a lie, or like, you know, they find out all the inner workings of shit, but they can't help the people down here. So yeah, I don't think nobody has that code though. What do you mean? Like the afterlife code? The afterlife code? Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. think anybody. I think um, damn. No, I don't want to do that one. We'll do that at another one. But I don't think anybody <laughs> has that code. Though. All right, we're gonna have rich to... or poor. Like, All right, we're we're gonna um, say we're gonna say yes, that. Yeah. Word up. <laughs> gotcha. So, if the world was populated by clones of yourself, yes. so bud, 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 yes. bud, 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 bud. You want some gumbo, bud? We're all smoking yeah. gumbo, bud. <laughs> you already know, bud. Like, how do you think that would go? That would go crazy. That would it was just crazy. nothing but use. They'd be not listen, man, <laughs> man. You know how much we would get done. Look back to the earlier conversation. You know how much? No you know how much we want to get. Done? You know what, bro? Oh man. No, nah, I mean, I have a, I have a huge procrastination about me, man. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if it was a bunch of us, we'd all just procrastinate together. <laughs> That's crazy. But man. it would be a vibe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like we would be vibing OD. We'd be having some crazy conversations with each other because y'all know time. I can have some crazy conversations mm. all at the same time. But like I, I fear like shit would get done, but it would take it take a while. Yeah. And sometimes I let shit go all the way to the point to where it breaks. Uh-huh. I don't know if that's good for the world. Okay. <laughs> I don't okay. know if that's good. Okay. All right. I can't complain with that. My, like I, my opinion on that, I can't, I feel like I'll deal with it only for a certain time. Because mm-hmm. I'll get annoyed with my, I probably get annoyed with my own self and start realizing certain things yeah, that other people see fair. and don't like about me. Uh, and some will be like, all right, now I hate myself. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're clones. They gotta go in the closet and shit when you don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> but if the whole world is populated by them, you oh, can't... the whole world. Oh, yeah, okay, gotcha. bro, you can't escape them. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So like, yeah, at first I'll be like, oh, this is cool, you know, yeah. and then after a while they'll be like, all right. Yeah. It'll be a whole bunch of like, I'm glad you get it, but then I would like, I'll probably lose my mind. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because me be telling me all the time, do it this way. <laughs> Yo, it's just a bunch of people telling each yeah, other what to do. Like, oh, do it this way. <coughs> yeah. All right. So this is the last one. Okay. This is a good one. All right. We're going to end this off. You know what? Whatever. Well, think of a question while we're answering this to end this off with somebody. All right. Because we're not going to end the show with this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But would you rather get a million dollars? I can't know what's coming. No. Would you rather get a million dollars to never masturbate again? Or a hundred dollars every time you masturbate? Hmm. Damn, what would happen though, like in that scenario if you did masturbate after getting a million dollars? Honestly, now <laughs> that I think about it. I'd rather just, I'd rather get the hundred dollars and masturbate every time. So I'm be masturbating a lot. Fuck it, once every day I get a hundred. You're bucks gonna be a masturbating <laughs> alcoholic. <like. laughs> At least once. You're just gonna be sitting there like. <laughs> Yo, your shit's gonna be red. <laughs> Once a day, like, nah, bro. Day. If if it's if I take that option, it's gonna be like four or five times a day. That's insane. Like, just imagine, like, we needed groceries in the house, and you could just masturbate and just be like, "Yep, let's go to the stove." I just masturbated. This was fun by me masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need some clothes? Baby needs new clothes. I'll be right. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, we're looking a little broke. We need some gas. All right, hold yeah. on. Just get let me let me get like 10, 10 minutes real quick. That would be cool. Yeah. See, now I didn't <laughs> want to do this, but I always say it won't be a little bit more descriptive. But <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do this. Yeah, but listen, right? So, uh, if I take the million, can somebody else masturbate me? Can I get like a? <laughs> Can I get like Yo can I That's get actually not considered masturbation. It's like considered oral. Somebody else does it. Corporate. For you. Like yeah, for yeah. All right. So, or if I got like a little machine or whatever, like Yo, that. Like no, no. Now that would be masturbating. Yeah, that'd be masturbating. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Machine. So yeah. that's what I'm trying. to Yo, imagine Kim just hires a personal masturbator. Yeah, like. like no, 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 not like that. But you know what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he hires someone to just come <laughs> in and just jerk them off. Like, <laughs> It's crazy because I'm trying to think like if I want the meal up front, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know I, I could survive I'm without eating. masturbating though. I feel like the meal would be yeah, cool. Man, yeah, like, but I feel yeah. like the meal lasts you only so long. Yeah. But it's a meal in Africa. Yeah, I mean, damn, imagine, like, you're done, like, with the mill, and now you're just sitting here, and you, like, lo- you lose your partner, like, your partner, <laughs> like, and now you're just like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, because I ain't gonna keep paying nobody either, though, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, so, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, like, a hundred, a hundred dollars every single time. It's like you rack up on more money yeah. than yeah. getting a mill straight yeah. up front, and the mill yeah. only lasts you so long, yeah. so if you $100, just yeah, because yeah, and then on days when you needed to like get, you know what I mean, the mortgage or half of it up. You, you, just, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? You could just go. Yo, you just sit there like, all right, babe, I gotta. No, imagine like doing the calculations, like, all right, babe, I gotta masturbate seven times today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, <laughs> or like, I gotta masturbate like. 
12 times this week to make 1,200 so that we can pay the rent. Right? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so that'd probably be all right. You know what I mean? That'd probably be better than taking that meal and getting that. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. It's just that meal is cool, though. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because the hundred dollars so low, you never have to declare that, and no kind of taxes if you got that every day. What about the inflation? Middle, you got like, that, you probably have to declare some. But taxes. like, what about what about inflation though? Like, <laughs> what if that hundred dollars don't mean much? Oh, so that means the meal don't mean that much. You could do a lot with a million these days. Yeah, if you the hundred don't mean that you, much, that means the meal. That's it. You get too. a meal, like, there's your business right there. There's your investing money for the rest of your life yeah nah so yeah man you're scaring yeah, me now yeah point with that too yeah you're scaring you, me now if you play with the you do it right, right you'll do it right really? and then yeah if you play with the million right you'll never have to play with yourself again yeah y'all scaring me <laughs> <laughs> that's why i went with my first one like i i that, that, that one up front boy is it is it okay i forgot we should have probably no checked. i checked on it like oh okay right, right. Right. yeah but now nah, yeah i'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to go with the $100 every time. Ah. No, I'm going with the million. I'll submit my answer. I'm, I'm going to go with the million dollars because, like I said, I could turn that million into some shit. You know, I could sacrifice masturbating. I'll just, I'll just make sure my wife's always good, mm-hmm. you know, so that she yeah. can have sex with me for the rest of my life. Yeah. All right, so I'm She'll the only understand. one that's going to take the $100. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, like, for girls, y'all can just... Yeah, we're not we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> but um, yeah, you got you guys got anything else before we uh, wrap this up? No. no. This All right. Great, great mac and cheese. Damn. Great man. Mac. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. It was always it's always yes. a fucking good time with Absolutely, you, bro. Bro. Yes. So with that being said, thank you for watching another episode of a different conversation. I'm high off life. Word. Um, and this was another episode. So like, subscribe, share. Shout out to Belgium, but also shout out to Ghana. Ah. We have a following in Ghana now that's mad random. Get but love you guys. Um, sell your souls. Do whatever you got to do. Leave some feedback. Thank you for watching. Bud. Peace, bud. <laughs>